both obviously fancy each other. Do they you know? don't. They say, I, if, I did, if I was a girl and was sat next to someone who was being saying they closed off and they nothing, nothing, don't want anything, I wouldn't turn to him and kiss him. I turned to the other boy and yeah, kissed the other boy. And Lucy both kiss Kieran, so what's he feeding girls and to think that he's interested? Straight, I'm happy to say her now. No, I, really don't. I know last week I called out Kieran when he had a go at um, Harriet because I didn't feel that was appropriate or that was the right setting for that. But at the moment, I'm starting a campaign. Please, let's save Kieran justice for kieran kieran doesn't deserve to be with someone who's constantly constantly nagging him he can't even blink he can't even do anything because she's going to freak out she's so insecure in herself that she is constantly panicking even in a game where she doesn't even know how kieran got to kiss someone she's panicking and everybody has to pacify her oh my god and oh ayo 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 oh my god how many times did i call you Seriously, when, when uh, Uma, Mimi deserves better. Look at me saying Uma. Mimi deserves better. She deserves better. And it's a pity she's not entertaining Lionel because she and Lionel could go to the finale. If, uh, what's his name? That guy in season eight could get to the finale with one of the Casa girls. She can do the same. She doesn't need Ayo and his messiness. Seriously, I'm fuming. Anyway, I digress. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. It's Valerie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, turn on the notification bell for when I upload new videos, and definitely leave a comment. In this episode, I'll be reviewing Love Island, season 11, episode 26. Oh my god. So we have Matilda chatting with one of the new guys. I think it's Jake. And also we have Sean chatting with ellie and uh what do i think i think jake is right that because he's, he tells matilda that it seems your connection with you know sean is one-sided in the sense that there is a sexual attraction but the sexual attraction is coming from sean it's not coming from you and she's like no i, I do you think so i don't think so i don't th and it's like we all see it we all see it you are you are are just humoring him. You're treating him like a little puppy. You give him a treat, he runs off, he plays. When he come, needs another little treat, you come, he comes back and you give him. And it's sad, but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. And for her, the way she was laughing, I said, no, I don't see it. She knows it's the truth. She knows it's the truth. She knows he's her ticket to stay in the villa. So she's going to do anything and everything to keep him happy. And sadly, he is so impressed by the little crumbs he's getting from her that he thinks he's won the lottery. He was flirting with Ellie and he was talking about sweets and what, oh my God. Because she asked him, you know, what sweet am I? And it shows you that these girls have been studying these boys and they're sort of thinking, who can I get? I don't think Ellie would have wanted Sean. I think she came in wanting Kieran because Kieran was stalking her online or was pursuing her online. So I don't get that connection at all. I really don't. And then you have Blade. Blade, Blade, Blade. Blade is telling the truth. Whether or not he comes back from Casa, he's telling these girls the truth. And when movie night happens and the truth is revealed, I can't wait for that because he was ready to say that to Uma. Um, do you think your connection with Will is solid? Are you not willing to explore anything? I should. Yes, my connection is very solid. I think Uma's got a type. I think her type is Will. I think the other guys, she's been very dismissive. She hasn't even entertained them. She's more or less sort of cut them off at the at the knees because to show that she's not interested. She wasn't interested in Omar. She wasn't interested. Even in Connor, she didn't show any interest. And now the same thing with Blade. So it tells me that she has a type. I think with the Ayo situation, she knew that was the only way she was going to get airtime. I don't think she really fancied Ayo like that. I think she humored him because she needed to stay in the villa. So he was her only sort of ticket to stay in the villa outside of uh joey at the time um so i don't know i don't know um so you then have mosiah having a conversation with grace grace is with her type as well she seems very chuffed and very interested i think grace should bring someone whether or not she and joey reconnect she needs to bring someone from casa and the fact that she's sort of being all laid back and sort of like seeming like she's not interested she's going to cry because they're going to come back from casa joey's going to have recoupled with someone and then after he breaks up with that person he's going to go back to jesse because he knows jesse sort of is not interested and he's having to work for it whereas with grace he can get it anytime he needs it um and then mimi and oma oh my god the friendship we didn't know we needed 
I love this stage of their relationship. I really hated how it was at the start, the tension and everything else. So to see them joking and laughing and sort of confiding in one another is amazing. I feel like something happened between Jess and Uma. I'm going to repeat this. We never found out why their friendship broke down. Why is it suddenly Uma is confiding in Mimi when she at one point was very close friends with Jess? We need to know. Somebody needs to ask the producers. They need to tell us why. Anyway, um, so Uma reveals to Mimi that... um. You know, Blade told me that, you know, he thinks that Will doesn't feel about me the same way I feel about him. And it's like, it's simple. You don't need to be confiding in Mimi. All you need to do is the other girls are here. He's told you that Matilda and Jesse, he was interested in them both. Just go and ask them and ask about the conversations that they had with him. Are the producers stopping you from doing that or what? Just find out and don't, you know end up crying because the connection that you feel you felt you had is not it and you missed an opportunity to get someone from casa i love that mimi mimi is always positive she was you know trying to encourage her and trying to sort of reassure her that you know don't worry as long as you left on a good note in your connection you have to trust and believe that everything will be okay but then for her to say if i hear that i took someone to the hideaway i'm diving in the water and it's like oh my god it doesn't have to be that extreme i wish mimi had entertained someone just for the sake of it just to come back with someone and make him quiver in his boots because he thinks he's got game i wish she would just show she's got game but i think she's someone with very high morals plus the fact that she's got this registration to protect she's not going to do anything silly in my opinion so the islanders receive a text message both casa and um the main villa to say that there'll be raunchy races so the both villas will be competing the winner will get a party and so they're all hyping each other up because everybody wants to win and jake and hugo they ha- they're so obvious because they're telling each other today you have to lay it on thicker than you've been laying it on just because you know they're really trying their best to be brought back to the main villa i don't get why mimi didn't give uh, lionel a chance well, i don't get it i really don't what was it about him that she didn't like i think she should have just had conversations and she should have just brought him back just for the sake of bringing him back even if she didn't feel anything romantically because Ayo is about to act out he is about to act out and for kieran to say oh guys so tonight what we're going to do is we're we're, we're allowed to go wild and our girls won't get upset with us and it's like okay if that's what you say, all we know is Nicole is not going to let it fly. As long as there's Kieran's done something, she's going to kick off. I can't wait. Before I start my commentary on the raunchy races, I'm just going to say this. Kieran needs to leave this girl. She is too possessive. She is too territorial. It's unbelievable. It's gone from being sexy to being cringe and being scary. I don't think he deserves that. He's too young. He's only 21. He deserves to live his life. This is the stage where he gets to enjoy his life. He doesn't need to be with someone who's easily frazzled or panics at the slightest sort of change. Um, what will happen in the real world? She'll have a bell around his neck and be following him every time he sort of dangles or something. Anyway, I digress. So they are sent text messages for both teams to compete. So the Villa and Casa. The first one is the tallest boy to kiss the girl he fancies. Ayo kisses Jess and Blade kisses Grace. Main Villa wins. Um, girl with blonde hair to kiss the fittest boy. Um, so Kieran gets a kiss and then Grace and Jess both kiss Blade and Casa win. The boy with most tattoos uh, to kill the to kiss the girl he's, he fancies and Will kisses Emma and Jess um, is kissed by... I didn't quite remember who kissed her, whether it was Hugo or, or, or Jake. Anyway, uh, the villa win. The, the shortest girl is to kiss the fittest boy so kieran gets a kiss um from lucy and nicole also gets a kiss uh but villa win and this sort of rattles nicole um and then we have boy with first name of the alphabet which is ayo in the villa to kiss a girl from head to toe Ayo decides to kiss jess and he goes in and then Gra- grace is kissed by blade so a and b anyway the villa win the oldest boy must kiss the oldest girl. Joey kisses Emma and Blade kisses Grace and the main villa win. 
the girl with the smallest shoe size must kiss the boy she fancies. And so Matilda kissed Jake. And I don't know why Uma pushed her off because she was kissing and kissing and kissing. Maybe she was enjoying the kiss. And for Uma to, to sort of push her, to nudge her, to say, no, you need to stop. I didn't get that. Unless the producer signaled that, that she needs to stop. Anyway, Sean uh, kissed one of the girls and Casa still won. And then the youngest boy was to kiss the girl he fancies and Kieran kissed Emma. And then Jesse was kissed by Joel. Um, the villa won. And as we all know, this rattled Nicole. She was so rattled that after the game, she was using a phone to sort of zoom in and see what's happening. And it's like, seriously, you are on TV and you're behaving this manic. You can only imagine what happens in the real world where you can't be with him 24 seven. What are you going to do? Yes, there's wanting to win the competition, but I think Kieran needs to move on. Kieran, I think, is attracted to Emma. I think he likes him an older person. And sadly, because he's locked himself off and he said, I love you, he can't really pursue that. But I think if he hadn't closed things off, if he hadn't said, I love you, he would have tried things with Emma. I think he needs to try things with Emma. I think he needs to try with somebody else and see whether his relationship with Jesse is healthy or maybe it's time for him to cut and run and try something new because this is not it. It's not a good look at all. Poor Kieran's ears must be ringing because now that the challenge is over, all Nicole can talk about is the fact that why did Kieran kiss her? Why did Kieran kiss Emma? Why did why did Emma kiss somebody else's boyfriend? And it's like, girl, she's not your boyfriend. So they're in the changing room and everybody's having to sort of convince her that, no, don't worry, he's your guy. He's not going to go anywhere. And it's like, please allow this man to just exist and just be. He came on this, yes, to find love, but also to enjoy himself. He's not married to you, love. He's not married to you. Allow him to enjoy himself. Allow him to explore connections. He doesn't need to be sort of locking himself away just because he's told you he loves you it's not a crime to tell someone you love them and so why is he now being confined to this role whereby because he's told you he loves you everything else doesn't exist except for you and your feelings make that make sense anyway jess has a conversation after all the girls have tried to pacify nicole she has a conversation with hugo i think it was so they're busy chatting and she's saying oh i i like the fact that when you came in you know you were all for me and yes you it was important that you explore connections with other people but you still come back to me and it's like oh please it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Why does everything have to be a competition with you, Jess? Just because you saw him kiss somebody else during the challenge, you now feel like your position is threatened. At the end of the day, you've got um, Trey back in the villa who you're exploring a connection with. Why is it so desperate that you need to sort of win at everything this is why you fell out with harriet because you felt like you were you're competing for ronnie and you're always competing for guys that really don't feel you that type of way and i don't get how you don't see this um anyway they share a kiss jess is ecstatic she has to tell the girls that they share a kiss the girls noticed her being kissed though so she was ecstatic about that because we know she likes to be the prize so as long as she can rub it in somebody else's face then all is good in kin in the kingdom um you have grace having a conversation with blade blade is coming back from casa he is coming back with someone he is coming back with someone because he has a conversation with grace and he tells her you know uh we've had timed kisses i would love for us to share a kiss they share a kiss and she is happy she is a happy bunny at the end of the day this is grace's type irregardless of all the shenanigans she's been up to everything else she's done has led us to this point this is her type and so because this is her type she was keen to have a kiss she seems to enjoy it and so hey i wonder what happens when mr essex finds out um and then we have mimi was speaking to lionel and i think knowing that Ayo is open to getting to know Jess. Mimi has decided to sort of slightly open her door. And I hope if nothing else, she brings, you know, Lionel back from Casa. He can go home the next time there's an, a dumping. But at least if she brings him, then she's not humiliated whereby she's having to stay on her own. And she can give Ayo a taste of his own medicine. Because if he's going to be a jackass, she might as well show him how it's done. To say I'm shocked is an understatement because the boys, you know, in the villa are celebrating, the girls are celebrating and they sit down for a sort of a debrief and they're sort of talking about who they like and their connections. And we all know that uh, Ayo, as soon as Jess 
paid him attention, he was gone. Because as I said yesterday, any girl that smiles in his direction, he's gone. He's easily swayed. Um, and you have Will. Will is worried because he likes, I think her name is Lisa. And then Trey also fancies one of the new girls. Uh, Connor fancies one of the new girls. And the problem that's there now is Joey likes Emma. Kieran likes Emma, but he can't act on He's liking Emma. So Joe is trying to pretend like he's really not that kin, but he's actually very kin because he sits down for a conversation with Emma and Lisa, I think her name is, and he's with Will and they're having a conversation and they're sort of asking, so how did the game go? Is there anyone you like in particular? I know we're going to have to be deciding beds. Who do you think you're going to share a bed with? And then suddenly you see Ayo and Jess start walking. And Joey, I don't know why he's surprised by Ayo because he's always saying, this boy is always surprising me. And it's like, Ayo is always going to be a fool, irregardless of what's going on. He's always going to act a fool. And so for you to be surprised by him, um, I, I don't get it because he's always going to do something that's controversial. He's always going to do something that's going to shock you and make you th question why he's doing it. Anyway, so um, you then have Lisa. I'm going to continue to call her Lisa, the one with the blonde hair. She has a conversation with Will and they decide they're going to share a bed because she was saying she likes someone between Joey and Will and she also likes somebody else. And it's like, oh my God make it make sense make it make sense and so she volunteers to share a bed with will and then you have ayo go to hideaway ayo is mad ayo is mad as i'm convinced he's mad because we haven't seen him take mimi to the hideaway so the audacity to take one of the castle girls to the hideaway doesn't make sense to me because he's telling her that well i'm always going to do what i want to do and it's like no one is saying don't do what you want to do but be respectful in how you do it at the end of the day as long as you're respectful nobody's going to have a problem with you but the moment you're disrespectful then people are going to have problems and issues with you because it's the audacity that on day one you're taking someone to the hideaway what are you going to do on day two what are you going to do on day two and you have the girls in casa busy zooming in to look to see what the boys are doing and nicole needs to sit down somewhere i really don't get it she needs to sit down somewhere and just calm down so the islanders get ready for bed and these boys these villa boys these villa boys oh my god seriously i would expect people like connor to be behaving the way the other two guys are behaving i would expect someone like maybe trey because he's only just coupled up with jess but to have ayo busy telling jess that oh you're going to get me in trouble and to have oh my god will kissing lucy when you have uma and mimi sleeping outside i don't get it i don't get it now we see what's his type now we see how he behaves when he's with his type because i think he just liked uma because she was single and she was stunning but she wasn't his type now he's found his type he can't keep his hands off off her because why is he he kissed her and then he had to pull the duvet over their heads what were they doing underneath the duvet and and you have their um Trey busy getting on and doing whatever he was doing in bed and it's just like oh my god oh my god and I don't get why Kieran got a bed to himself is that because he demanded that he be given a bed to himself then or what is it I don't get it I can't wait for tomorrow anyway thanks guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and click the link in my video to watch my review from episode 25 bye guys